let's do the same exercise what we did in solid works we will do with autodesk inventor 2023 all dimensions are in millimeter material copper so here we are going to start with base base you will see 450 by 300 and the depth or thickness of this plate 70 millimeter okay then there is one cutout you will see 30 millimeter height 120 is the bottom face 60 degree and center distance 150 millimeter and this is throughout hole now here select new and go to template and metric and here you will find a standard IPT part with millimeter unit. So I'm going to select this one create. Now first I'm going to select start 2D sketch. So click and it will show you three axes. So I'm going to select X Z plane. Now he drop down and select rectangle center rectangle. Now draw one rectangle. Now let's say vertical distance 450 press tab key in keyboard 300 enter. Now look. Now simply go to finish sketch. And here activate extrude feature. Now here only one close profile so system automatically detect Autodesk inventor detect it and start from from means the plane or the sketch going to start so it is automatically detected because we selected XZ plane now next is behavior here you have to choose the direction so we want upward side and here distance 70 millimeter now look you will see the preview now output body name by default it gives you name you can apply any name whatever you want I will keep as it is now we don't want any taper or angle so I am simply keep okay see click this face and you will see this symbol create a sketch activate line now I'm going to draw this now again close create from here to here right click okay okay let me create one more thing select this center point Okay, let me select center point from top to center point this line. See, now select one constraint vertical and I'm going to select this one. See, this is going to now again I'm going to select or even though you can directly choose next symmetric. I'm going to select these two then center one. Okay, right click. Okay, now right click on this line construction smart dimension now let's define this 120 fine vertical distance 30 and let's define angle sixty degree say okay now one more things we need to define distance from the center of to outside 150 now this is fully constrained you will see at right bottom finish sketch now activate extrude now again system detect this close profile and here applied sketch start condition also applied now here we have to choose change but before going to change in behavior I am going to change output in boolean it is selected join simply select cut because we want to cut a hole now in comes to behavior direction distance here apply even though we can apply distance or uh, achieve the result but here one option called through all select this one just hold shift key and middle mouse and rotate with your mouse and you will rotate your component say ok look Now next come to this, this corner radius you will see 50 radius, so diameter become uh, 100. Now this center distance 150 and 130 from here, we have to extrude this 58 millimeter. Then there is one more thing we have to extrude 160, corner radius 180, this radius also 60 and 20 millimeter. So let's do this too. 
select this face create a sketch now i am going to select corner center rectangle or uh, we call this two point center rectangle okay we start from center 300 press tab key 150 enter but we want to make this one as a construction geometry so i am going to select this one now activate circle now this circle 50 into 2 it's going to be 100 now draw here some more circles right click okay or press escape key in constraint you will see this option equal select equal constraint sign select first this circle then this circle see the size change again select the main circle then second circle again select the main circle and the last circle all the size become same right click okay now the next option arc Three point arc. I am going to start with arc. Connect to this to this. Now this radius one eighty. Enter. Okay, let me draw here also. And this radius sixty. Enter. Right click. Okay. Now activate here tangent constraint. I am going to select this one. See. Select this arc circle or arc. and see it is took the dimension select this one this one and the last one select circle and arc right click okay activate line tool select construction line and start from here again he start from here to this right click okay now let's we want to mirror this so here you will find option mirror first select arc then activate line and this time i am going to select this line and here say apply now see now again select this is sketch arc activate mirror line and i am going to select this time this vertical line apply done this is fully constrained even though we can use trim tool to cut this all but maybe we, we we miss some dimension then again we have to apply dimensions so i'm not going to trim anything we will use this drawing as it is finish sketch extrude now here more than one profile see if hover over cursor and see so i'm going to select all one by one see profile selected starting condition also selected now here in output boolean going to join not cut okay direction is same let me 50 add 58 okay select this top face is sketch now project geometry even though you can create this but this is the better option right click okay these lines are created again select line draw vertical line escape key to out again activate line do one more vertical line escape key to out now activate trim see click and trim click and trim right click okay dimension 160 so the half of the 160 by 2 see this is fully constrained finish sketch activate extruded boss now there is only one close profile so automatically detect by system direction behavior let me again it is going to join so here even though you can choose new body but we will keep join 20 see direction is perfect going upside say okay now we have to add this half circle this radius 50 center distance 150 so this is the diameter of this circle is 150 that's it select this face create a sketch now activate circle and move circle if you keep circle cursor over edge you will see the center point just move and this is going to be 50 enter 
now okay delete if you found any unnecessary line now finish this now we have to create one sketch here are uh, not plane now let me create parallel to plane through point now select this face and this point see the plane is created right click click on plane and select create a sketch three point arc start from here to here activate dimension 150 by 2 it is going to be radius right click ok now here one point called coincide select this point and this line it should be coincide ok let me little move we have to make sure that these points are perfectly aligned now select the center point and if you move cursor you will see this green dot this is the center point of select this coincide now see this is fully constrained now see these points should be lies at the center finish sketch right click and uh, uncheck visibility now there is one extra line so simply again go to edit sketch click the line and delete it now finish sketch now activate here sweep tool now look by default profile this circle already selected by system and even curve also selected if I am going to uncheck and let's select profile first profile then second path this arc and see and the behavior orientation we have to go follow path if you change this one it will not possible in this case so keep follow path and select here output join boolean ok look now let's mirror this so select here mirror now first option mirror individual feature then select feature feature even though you can choose from here swift activate mirror line why is that plain say ok default and I am going to apply some material let's say cyan actually this material is copper so simply you can go and apply copper but appearance we will keep this color so this is how we did a simple exercise in autodesk inventor 2023 i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in autodesk inventor thanks for watching